Can you go a little bit deeper in terms of why oxidation is a big deal? Great question. So oxidation corrupts whatever it touches. So in the case of steel, it corrupts it, turns it into rust, and rusted steel, it doesn't function properly. So that's the analogy for our body, is anything that's oxidizing cholesterol, cell membranes, triggering inflammation because of that oxidation. Oxidation damages. Inflammation is the response to damage. Inflammation is the first step in healing, but chronic inflammation actually accelerates the damage, causes the plaque to become vulnerable, and triggers the heart attack and stroke. Antioxidants early on were thought to be the answer. If we can overcome oxidation through supplements, we know that everything that Ford mentioned are antioxidants. Unfortunately, they haven't played out in the human body with perhaps one exception. Studies on multiple vitamins with those specific antioxidants actually showed no improvement in outcomes and actually there was a signal for more cancer problems with that concoction. However, the body has some natural antioxidants, bilirubin being one of those, and people with low bilirubin, if there are things that you can do to raise your bilirubin and take advantage of that natural antioxidant, the better strategy is to turn off the oxidation driver in the first place, which are these root causes. There is an exception on that, antioxidant vitamins, and vitamin E has been shown to be beneficial in reducing death just in one group of patients, and those folks have a genetic trait called haptoglobin. And especially if you're diabetic and you have this haptoglobin trait, your risk of dying is four to five times higher because of the haptoglobin gene, and vitamin E can reduce that risk. 